Welcome to Electron Line. This very same problem, we've done already two videos on it, showing you two different methods of how to solve this problem, finding the area between the two curves. But now we actually have even a third method. What we can do is we can simply find the total area underneath this curve between the curve and the x-axis and then subtract from that the area over here which gives us the area between the two curves. And the area here which we denote by A2 can simply be equal to the area of a triangle which is one half the base times the height so one half the base which is four times the height which is four so we subtract eight from the total area and we'll get the area between the two curves. In that way, we only need one area element, dA, which is defined by the height, which is the height from the x-axis to the curve, which is y1, times the width, which is dx. So finding the total area, then, is simply the integral from 0 to 8 over the area element y, y1, dx, and y1 is defined as x to the 2 thirds. Let's see if this also gives us the same result that we got in the previous two videos. So when we integrate this, we get the following. This is equal to x to the 5 thirds divided by 5 thirds, evaluated from 0 to 8. And simplifying that, this is equal to 3 fifths x to the 5 thirds, evaluated from 0 to 8. When we plug in the lower limit, we don't get anything, so all we need is the upper limit. And when we plug in the upper limit, we get uh, 8 to the 1 third power, which is 2 raised to the fifth power, which is 32. That gives us 3 fifths times 32. And so that will be equal to 96 over 5. So that's equal to the total area underneath the curve. We don't want that. We want the area between the two curves. So that means the area between the two curves, area between... will be equal to a minus what we found that was the area that the rectangle that would be a2 so this is equal to what we found over here 96 over 5 minus a2 which was 8 so that would be equal to 96 over 5 minus 40 over 5 which is indeed 56 over 5 which again is the very same result as we got in the previous two videos. So notice there's a fair number of ways in which you can solve these types of problems. Find the areas between curves. In this case, that may be the easiest way of them all. And that's how it's done.